Hey, how's you going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, it's nice when you drop by the shop. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I had a request uh, some time ago that I uh, show the headliner or the headboard in my cab on the tractor a little bit. Go into detail about the, the headliner and how it got there and what's all on it. Uh, so I thought what I'm going to do today is I put the tractor in the, sh in the shop and I'm going to take my time and go through the headboard, the layout, how I put it up there, and, and uh, what's all on it. So uh, come on over, I'm going to show you around the cab and my tractor today. So this is my headboard, or my headliner, in the tractor. When I first got the tractor, there was nothing up here, right? That, that was just open. But there was a cross member that went right along here, just below... Oh, sorry, just above the wiper motor here. That was just a piece of foreign metal that was a cross member of the cab and it's a piece of structural steel for the cab integrity. And the way it was formed it was just asking for a headliner to be put in here or a headboard. So what I did was this piece right here is just a piece of uh, laminate flooring. It's a 10 mil thick laminate flooring. It had a nice wood grain on it and I thought That'll fit. Uh, so what I did was I went and I got some uh, some of those uh, spring clips that uh, you can thread bolts into. So there was four holes in this cross member. So I put those spring clips in there with some stainless steel screws and I secured my headliner in place that way. Uh, if you notice along this side here, there's uh, that's the wiring that comes to it. Uh, so all that wiring goes in behind the headliner, and it, I managed to fit it in there pretty good. So there was things in here in the headliner that I wanted to have. One of them was, I always take a notebook with me in the tractor, because you never know when, uh, you know, something might happen. Like, uh, And just to keep a log of what you're doing in the tractor, like you see at the top there, on, if you can read my writing, on Sunday, January 30th, uh, I had approximately 9 inches of heavy snow, and there was ice on top of it and it cleared it. It took me three and a half or 3.3 hours to clear it. So things like that are handy to know. Plus, I used to find uh, when I was out working on the tractor, you know, I would see, I don't know, a, a hose come loose, a hydraulic hose come loose that needed another tie wrap on it. So I would just mark it in the log so that when I come back, I'd read that and remember that I needed to tighten up. The hoses or something. So I just formed up a little pocket here out of uh, aluminum, sheet aluminum, and uh, screwed that to the headliner. So I keep my little logbook up there. Very handy to have that logbook. It's surprising what I end up putting in that log. Okay, and then next to that, uh, oftentimes I used to take, uh, well, the camera in the cab or take some uh, music with me, although I don't like listening to music in the tractor because I'd rather hear the tractor than the music because if there's something going on with the tractor that's not right it'll tell you with the sound of it and if you're listening to music you can't hear that but anyway I put a couple of outlets in here one of them is a 12 volt outlet right and then beside that I have some USB a 5 volt 2 amp a 5 volt 1 amp and a 5 amp sorry I have a 5 volt 1 amp and a 5 volt 2.5 amp or 2.1 amp uh, USB outlet. So that's handy to have those there as well. And below that you'll see I have a rear view mirror. Uh, I put the rear view mirror inside the cab. A lot of people have them outside of course so that makes perfect sense. But uh, where I was plowing and working the tractor in tight quarters all the time I was afraid I would break my mirrors off. Plus the way the doors close. When my doors close they close right up tight against this uh, column here. So I didn't have a really good place to mount mirrors on the outside. So I mount this one inside and it's a convex mirror. So uh, it magnifies and you see pretty good out that mirror. Although I just have it mounted on a thin piece of metal and it vibrates a great deal. So, you know, that's not ideal when it vibrates. But you can just put your hand on it and hold it while you look and it works out all right. Now I also wanted to have... Uh, a, a cab light, a dome light. So I got this little, I think it's a clearance light off a trailer I had in the box there with all my junk and there's just a incandescent bulb in that. So I put that in there so I have myself a dome light and that works good. Although 
it's kind of bright. I wish the lens was maybe frosted, it would be better, but it wasn't. So that's what I had, that's what I used, that's what I ended up with. But it gives a good light and you can see, you can see the hour meter then at night. You can see uh, when I'm writing in the log, things like that. Sticker time again at Grampy's Workshop. Boys, my favorite time of the week, sticker time. Uh, and this week I got some mail from uh, a guy, he, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. His name is Roger McDonald, and uh, he has a little business fixing mowers and small engines. Uh, Roger McDonald's Fix and Flip. Roger McDonald, what a guy. Uh, he doesn't have a channel, but you should have Roger. If you're watching this, buddy, get yourself a YouTube channel, because... You know, the interaction that Roger has with a bunch of us YouTubers here that work on small engines off and on, it's invaluable. You know, like the questions he asks, even in his comments on the videos, he gives good tips. So Roger, you've got a lot to offer to the small engine YouTube community. So don't be shy, buddy. Get out there and promote that. In fact, I'll just tell you what a good supporter he is of the YouTube channel. This is his letter to me. He says, Hi Mike. I hope you and your wife are doing fine. I really like your YouTube channel. Thanks, Roger. And I'd love to send you a sticker from another channel that I like. It's Freedom Mowers. He says, uh, he has been, uh, he has less than 90 subscribers. This is when Roger was writing this letter. He has less than 90 subscribers, but has very good videos. He is a veteran and served his country well. He lives in North Carolina. Thanks again, Mike, for your kind email, and I will be watching. So, you know, that's just the kind of guy Roger is. You know, he's always out there supporting other people. So, if you get a chance... You know, and you see some comments from Roger, just respond to the comment and say, at a boy, Roger. Anyway, I'm going to put Roger up in my wall here. Okay, there we go. So, Roger, we're going to put you over here by the rusty rooster. Roger McDonald, a great supporter of YouTube. And if I were you, I'd show him some love. When you see his comments, just click on them. So, just to follow up there with uh, Roger McDonald, when he sent me this uh, sticker from Freedom Mowers, I got in touch with Alex, Alex at Freedom Mowers. I'm uh, going to send him some stickers too, so uh, Alex, if you're watching this, I don't need your sticker buddy, I already got it, but uh, yours will be coming down to you as soon as I get an, an address for you. So we're going to get this sticker on the board too. Okay, I'm going to put Alex way over here. It's underneath Garden Tractor Boy, Joseph at Garden Tractor Boy. Freedom Mowers. That's a good channel. Alex does, uh, he just started his channel, like we say. Uh, he does a lot of work with small engines. And uh, he's got a little, I think it's a Sears tractor that he's redoing right now. Pretty interesting channel. Go check him out too. So then, uh, continuing along, uh, I like to know the temperature when I'm out working <laughs> and also the time. I found the time uh, was important because like I'd be out plowing sometimes years ago when I used to plow the road. I'd be out, you know, for two, three, maybe even four hours at a time and I'd lose track of time. So what I have here is a little digital uh, temperature gauge and a clock. Now right now it's not working, the battery's dead in it, so I have to change the battery. In order to change the battery, just I take this screw out, that end cap comes off, that slides off, and I can change the battery. But anyways, in there, there's a digital clock and a thermometer, so I know how cold it is and what time it is. And that was surprising how handy that is. So it's nice to have the temperature and the time on board. And then beside that, uh, I had problems one year with my battery. I wasn't sure if my battery was bad or if my battery was uh, maybe not charging, if the alternator was bad. So I want to know what the running voltage was and if it was charging. So I got this little charger here. It, was, it wasn't very much, I think not even $10. And I put that in there and that monitors the battery voltage. Now when I turn the tractor on, you'll see it's reading 12.2 right now, 12.1. So uh, A little low, but uh, it's all right. And then beside that, I put in my light switches for the lights. I've got work lights on the tractor and my dome light. So once again, if I turn the tractor on, if I turn on my dome light, then the dome light lights up. Okay. And then the front work lights 
you notice the voltage drop it goes from well it's only 11.8 now goes down to 10.9 and then the rear work light 11.9 goes down to 11.6 but anyway it's nice to have the dome lights or the lights here the light switches and also uh, the middle one has a light in it the other one's supposed to have lights in the tool but they're burnt out <laughs> Okay, and like I was showing earlier, this is where the wiring comes in, right here, and all the wiring comes in there, and then it just divides up to wherever I need it on my headliner. It was uh, quite an involved little mod to put that in. It took me about a day, but uh, you know, it's nice. I like having it up there, and I'm going to make another modification to this headliner coming up in the near future. I'm going to have to change a few things around. I may have to change the whole headliner, but I have a video coming up with an addition, and I think I'm going to put it on the headliner, and you'll have to stay tuned for that one. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. But that's my headliner or my headboard in my tractor. Pretty neat little mod. Pretty handy. So that's a few things that I did to my tractor to modify the tractor to make it my own. Uh, you know, you can buy a tractor anywhere pretty well, and uh, you can drive it home, and there you got yourself a tractor. But it's not until you put your mark on it with these little modifications that it really becomes truly yours. <laughs> and uh, if anybody has a tractor, you know what that relationship is between the, the operator and the machine. You know, it's pretty tight. You want to make it as tight as you can get it. And, you know, these modifications, too, they make it easier to use the tractor, and they weren't that expensive, so... If you have a tractor, I suggest you go up there and make a few mods to it. <laughs> make it your own. Thanks for tuning in. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thumbs up me if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you dropped by. It's always nice to have new people come by the channel. And I hope you leave a comment too. In the meantime, have a safe week everybody. Stay warm. And we'll talk to you soon.